Hey, yes, sir. How we doing? Grand rising. Good afternoon and good night to the beautiful Devon Reflection watching this video. I understand it's your boy Devon Messenger and we're back with another message. And before we even get into this message, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more Devon messages, especially if you want to improve yourself, not only spiritually, but mentally and physically, because all three of these things connected helps us become the God that we were meant to be and becoming. You see today's video, I know you see the title of this video, and these nine signs are going to help us be able to be aware of our dangerous surroundings and the people who are surrounding us in their own danger. So because they are dangerous people, these signs will be able to help you get through a divine introspection or perception of who is hanging around you. And not only that, but these things will be able to help you transcend their ego to where you'll be able to leave the room without even entering the room so you'll be able to combat different dangerous programs outside of your own program and this will help you elevate yourself into safe environments and you want to be around people who are just like you or who think just like you or who love just like you so number one intuition and inner guidance you experience a strong sense of inner knowing or intuition that warns you to steer clear of the person even if you can't logically explain it you have a strong intuition about somebody or someone around you. This is your second gut, your second brain telling you, your higher self is letting you know through your gut feeling that the person that is by you, you don't need to be by this person because they're not they're not there for the betterment of their of your good. They're only in it for the betterment of their own good. Not only that, if you're not able to use discernment within your gut, this is why you had to take care of your stomach because if you are fasting, if you're putting healthy foods into your body if you're drinking water if you're giving your body the body the nourishment and replenishing that it needs or desires then you be then your second brain will work with you that's the whole point of balancing you know the reality that we live in or lie in physically and spiritually because spiritually you are able to have a heightened intuition with who is around you because if not you're not going to be able to see the warnings and which is why the second key point is repeated warnings you have a repeated warning. You will receive repeated warnings or messages through your dreams, visions, or synchronicities. And these will signal the danger associated with the individual. Now, when it comes to danger situations, many people come in many different forms. So danger comes in many different ways. It can be through anything that you see and don't see. As you're getting these different warnings, you have to literally pay attention to all the synchronicities or confirmations or alignment with your higher self or your divine guides and the physical at this moment. And the thing is, the ego is going to to foreshadow you from actually seeing what is really in front of you because your ego will not want you to transcend the lies that you've been living in because it's too comfortable and on top of that the ego will want you to kill yourself because that's how ignorant most people are so in order to transcend ignorance you have to pay attention and be conscious in your dreams not only your dreams but you have to be able to see and visualize the synchronicities in these dreams not only these dreams but your reality when it comes down to you being able to see these signs, the universe will keep repeating these signs to your program. So if you literally are programmed to a higher program, then you're going to fall short of your programming. Thus, you'll be programmed by demonic forces. And once the, when the universe is trying to give you these messages, when it's trying to give you the visions that you are trying to envision, then if you're closed minded, you won't be able to see the danger that lies ahead. Not only that, this danger literally walking in your circle or is living right in your household and you're not even aware to see it because you're not even awakened to who you really are. And that leads us to number three, feeling drained or unsettled. Being around this person will leave you feeling emotionally drained, unsettled or uncomfortable as if their energy negatively impacts your well-being. Get this homework down. Make sure you're taking notes because this is homework. Homework that we all have to get into, get in tune with. When you feel drained around this person, when you feel unsettled with this person, this is actually, and most people won't even be conscious about it, but if you're around somebody you know is dangerous, you need to sit there and think to yourself, how do I feel when I hang around this person? When you know, and what's crazy, if you're using discernment, Using discernment is key to learning about your curiosity, not only with people, but people around you. When you're able to see beyond the veil of discernment, 
you're going to discern yourself by going within yourself. Once you're able to go within yourself, you begin to see to yourself like, okay, when this person leaves, how do I feel? When they're around me, how do I feel? When they're talking to me, how do I feel? As they say certain things, how are they saying it? When they feel certain things, how are they feeling with these certain things? And what is making them feel this way? Because a dangerous person knows how to be manipulative. That's the whole point to a narcissist. Not only that, you gotta make sure that if this negativity is impacting you in a negative way, you need to leave the room and it's okay. It's okay to say no, it's okay to walk away from old friends or old companionships or networking opportunities if you know they're not serving you any good if you know that's like why hang out in a room full of demons when you know the frequency is negative why just because you want to fit in because you want to have fun or you, it looks like they're having fun or they're partying they're having a great time getting wasted what are you doing wasting your time in a negative frequency when you know it serves you no good positively you're you're beyond that you, you don't reside in that frequency anymore that's what they do so you, if you're feeling drained if you don't have any energy around this person they are leeching off of your energy they are an energy vampire and you're literally not awakened to see that so make sure you get your ass up and you actually think beyond the veil of your own discernment you have to transcend your discernment and discern their discerning factors negatively and positively all in one the next one Manipulated behavior. This person or people will display manipulated behavior such as gaslighting, guilt tripping, or controlling tactics, which erodes your sense of self-worth and autonomy. A lot of times these demon these demons, these demonic programs, these forces, they will manipulate you because they know who you are becoming. They actually not even becoming, they know who you are already. Not only that, it's their demons, and that's the thing. When it comes to spiritual warfare, we're not always able to see beyond the physical and why is that it's a great reason for that when you're awakened you'll be a you actually be able to not only live in the physical you'll be able to transcend physicality so therefore you'll be walking in your spirit because of that nobody can manipulate a spiritual being because you already manipulate yourself through your ego so if you're going to get manipulated you better hope it's through your brain or through your perception you should not let anybody manipulate you because if they can manipulate you they can control your life and you won't even be awake to see that because you're not even awake to your own reality. So if people are manipulating you, you have to actually see beyond that and see why they are doing it and how they are doing it. Not only that, if you care about somebody who's being under this manipulation, you have to save them and help them see that. But how can you help them see manipulation if you can't even see the manipulation? Are you that blind to manipulation? It's a program and it's a practice that has been groomed upon by many people. So if you know you're under that manipulation factor, you need to to make sure that no matter what you do you're not at fault but if you know that you are at fault and they keep gaslighting you or they keep making you feel guilty by the actions you did in the past don't be around them because they're projecting not only that they want you to feel bad for yourself and they want you to de-escalate who you always were god they don't want you to get into your positive being they don't want you to embody that spiritual essence of positivity because they don't want you to leave that comfortable negative standpoint that you are used to living in Five, the lack of empathy. These people or this being or these beings, they consistently demonstrate a lack of empathy or love or remorse from for their actions, disregarding the feelings and well-being of others. Many people do not have love anymore, especially people who are dangerous to you, and they don't have this love because why would they love you? They don't love themselves. Demons are used to not being loved on, so that's why they look for love through negativity or through hate, and they love to hate because it fuels them, it boosts their ego, and it boosts and it makes them get a, a rush of sensation and helps them flourish beyond your flourishment and because of that they're going to make sure no matter what you do they won't give you love so when you're accomplishing something and you want to brag to them like hey i just accomplished this they're not going to give a fuck not only that they're going to make sure if you depending on how much your life has enhanced some people may even take your life from you that's how jealous they are and how dangerous they are so be careful when you're actually elevating your life when you leave the hood when you make it out of you know whatever poverty you're living in or when you make it past your peers or when you're boasting when when you're bragging or when you're showing off your accomplishments or your accolades there will be some people out there who will want to take that from you they want to take your trophies from you because they don't have any at home they don't have anything to brag about they, they can't go back to their friends and they can't express to themselves how they're not making their life they people want the life that you are living in so you have to make sure no matter what if there is no love involved in your circle you have to remove that hate from your circle including friends and family 
and there is not empathy in your group or your circle you have to remove that because the lack of love will literally hinder your growth and it will kill you and it will kill your ego slowly to where you may even kill yourself or you may walk into the trap of this dangerous person this number six pattern of harmful actions this person or being has a history of engaging in harmful or abusive behaviors towards themselves or others, indicating a potential risk to your safety. And this is where you have to be careful with people who are molesters or apists, people who sexually abuse you, people who sodomize you. These people are doing this shit because somebody did the same thing to them. So that's how grooming comes about. That's how these weirdos start becoming weird because somebody did a weird program to them and it fucked up their algorithm in their minds where their ego thinks that that is normal. So because of that, you need to study the history of the people that you are hanging with or the people that you are living with or the people that you are working with. Because if you're not asking yourself questions, if you're not questioning their, their motives or their actions in life, if you're not able to see where they came from before they came to you, then you are doing yourself a disservice service you should be able to ask people who they are and why they are hanging around you they are hanging around you because there's a reason why they're around you not only that how do they treat people besides yourself because and many people are telling you that this person is fucked up or they're evil and you ignore it you can't be mad if evil did evil things to you in an evil way you should have listened to the people who are really trying to talk to you but you're so close-minded you're so ignorant to the point to where you can't even hear people who are actually speaking to you and they're speaking logically to you to make sure that you don't fall into the same trap they fell into with this dangerous person being around you so this is where the number seven will come in isolation from support network they will try to they will try to isolate you from friends family or support networks making it harder for you to seek help or escape from their influence when they do this they're basically getting you away from the people who are here to guide you not only that these dangerous people they will guide you to the water and they will force you to drink that shit and the thing is you don't know what's in that water but it's there to poison you because they are poisonous beings and because of that they will make sure that you don't get to the point of reaching a higher enlightenment that you deserve to be in and so because of that they will make sure they isolate you from people that are for the betterment of your good they will think that the people who are there to help you or uplift you they don't want you to be around them they want you to be in a demonic frequency they want you to be left alone they want you to get groomed on they want you to be touched on they want you to be miserable they want you to hate yourself but they want you to they want you to elevate your life so therefore you would have to go through them because they can get you to the, through those doors they can get you to the life that you want to live in but you got to use discernment is your life that worth it to where you you forget your moralities you just you throw away all your dignity you just give away your righteousness to a life that you really don't want to live in but you want to live in it because of money or attention or fame or prosperity or abundance or you want to get your family out of a certain situation that's what people who are in these different doorways or these gateways they can they can make themselves do that to you and they can bait you into wanting to walk through those doors but all you're doing is trapping yourself in another trap not only that not only are you trapping yourself in another trap you're literally trapping yourself in the future currently to where you won't be able to grow into the beautiful being that you are supposed to be living in and people can't even help you anymore once you get to them doors and you will have to help yourself and you will have to actually grow up and think to yourself on all the things that you failed to see beyond your lens which is the next one ignoring boundaries the person will cons or people will consistently ignore or violate your boundaries disregarding your autonomy and personal space you can set boundaries all you want to a dangerous person but if they have power they have money they have influence and they have notoriety if they have fortune fame they will ignore anything that has to do with your boundaries because they will push you to your limit not only that they know you want to get to a certain frequency they, they know that, that you want to get to a certain path in life but the only way to get to that path is sometimes through them and that is they're, they're not wrong for thinking like that but you don't have to go through satan to enhance your life you don't have to so when they're doing that they will ignore when you say don't touch me that way or, i don't want to be taught to that way why are you yelling at me can we just can we chill a little bit can i have a rest they don't want to hear none of that shit and your boundaries go many ways you know you want to like there's so many things and it's so fucked up how they ignore these boundaries because they're not even real people. Not only that, 
demonic frequencies or people who have a program demonic frequency they don't even have boundaries within themselves because there are many people who push them past their boundaries so what makes you think they won't push you past your boundaries all they're doing is they're projecting what they know onto you that's why they're able to be so powerful because people allow them to be powerful because people want this lifestyle so bad it's like they will do anything to let demons influence their lifestyle because their lifestyle that they used to know used to suck so if you can if you're if people are ignoring your boundaries then you need to stop ignoring your boundaries and you need to set you need to put your foot down and set things straight you want things to be this way or you can't work with them or you can't be in the same rooms with them or you can't communicate with them you can't have a conference call with them or a conference meeting with them you don't want to sign this contract you do not want to sell yourself short because they are ignoring your boundaries because they want you to do things for them if they can't do things for you if it's not a, a two-way street if we can't have a, a uh, equal uh, equilibrium within our life fuck them they don't deserve to be in your life last but not least instinctual avoidance you find yourself naturally avoiding a person or making excuses to distance yourself from them even if you can't pinpoint specific reasons why on an intuitive aspect you know why you don't want to be around this person it's a reason that's why many kids if a kid is if a kid is crying in somebody's presence or if a kid is hiding from another person they know deep down in their soul and their spirit that this person is not good for them so they want to hide away from them that's why they go and they hide behind their mom's leg or their dad's leg or they try to tell their mom and dad what's going on in this person this is the exact same way you if you're not spiritually awakened within yourself then you're not going to be able to comprehend what i'm saying but if you're awakened you will know that deep down on an intuitive aspect on an instinctual aspect you'll be able to think to yourself this person is not good for me. So you know you have three brains. Once you align that gut feeling and you get by them, you will tell yourself, okay, this person is used to doing this or they still do this. I've heard they did this. I seen them doing this. So I know my gut is telling me don't be around them. So every time you see them, you don't even got to be rude to say, hey, how you doing? And keep it moving. And if they get mad about that, oh, well, so be it. You can't, you can't, you can't do a thing about how they feel or their emotions, but you're doing things for the betterment of your good. They can't see that because they're too close-minded. Not only that, these aren't even real people. So because of that, the safety and the value of, of your life is important and nobody can take that from you but you. So if you allow demons to to knock your knock you off your pedestal, if you allow them to enslave your ego, then you're not going to be able to grow beyond your ego. Take time for yourself and understand how important it is to see the dangers in people, not only people, but your ego, because your ego is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. So danger will lie within all walks of life, but it's up to you to determine what walk of life you'll be walking into. I love you. Have a great day, God.